Okay, so for frog, pretty much we're focusing for the internal structure. Okay, so the first organ you see, it's still like a fish, is the liver. But for them, they have different lobes. Okay, so for liver, it's very obvious because you can see the texture is kind of different from other organs. So though they have uh, three, I think three lobes for this one. Yeah, three lobes. So that's the liver. Okay, so it's one liver over here, just different lobes. So if I lift the liver a little bit up, you will see a sac right beneath it, so it's kind of attached to the um, liver, that's gallbladder, okay? So gallbladder, the purpose for gallbladder is just to storage uh, bile, okay? So this sac right here, okay, can you see that? This one, so that's gallbladder, okay? So just remember gallbladder is a sac beneath the liver and in storage for the bile, okay? And then here you go further down your trace downwards along the esophagus, you will see this crescent-shaped structure, that's stomach, okay? So the stomach and stomach connect all the way to small intestine, okay? And in between small intestine and stomach, you will see this like tissue-like structure right here, that's actually pancreas, okay? So for them, it's kind of like, it's not like confined structure, but you will see it's in between stomach and intestine, that would be pancreas, okay? <laughs> so you flip the stomach. Oh, now you can have a better view of pancreas right here. Okay, it's so a kind of whitish, like ligament-like structure. That's pancreas, okay? And then you will see a bulb, and it's kind of very dark red. That's actually spleen, okay? And then you will see why the reason why it's kind of dark red is because the function is produced red blood cell. So that's spleen and storage for red blood cell as well. And if I dig deeper, all the way to the back, you will see an organ that's completely different from spleen. Let me see if I can have a better view. Toward this one out. Okay, so right here, you will see it's kind of a darker color right there. This one, let me clean it up a little bit. So here's a spleen, and then here's the one attached to the backbone. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, right there. It's kind of a dark in color. Let me flip, flip it up. So you will see this one, this organ right here. I'm gonna put a pin. It's right there. And it's attached to the backbone. That one is kidney. Okay, so it's one on each side. So pay attention. If he asks you the organ attached to the backbone is on the very back, then that's kidney. Okay, so later I will give you an overview um, to show you better. And then let's get to the upper parts. Okay, if I remove the liver, then you will actually see the upper parts. Let me cut it off. Okay, so I'm actually ripping off the ribs so I can show you the chest region. Okay. All right. So let's go. All right, so here is a very good view of the heart. Okay, for their hearts, they have two atria and one ventricle on the bottom. Okay, so you can see two atria. It's kind of darker in color. Okay, this two, and then ventricle on the bottom. Okay, and then on the side of the horror, you will see this organ right here. It's kind of like a sac, but it's a different texture than the liver. Right here, okay, that will be the lung. Okay, so here oh, is the lung. Okay, so it's right there. So if I flip it, you can see it better. That's liver and that will be lung. Okay, so pay attention where he pins. If he pins something right by the arms, that will be lung. And then if it's right on top of everything, then that's liver. And then lungs, one on each side, okay, and it's right by the heart. So overview, the first organ you see, that will be liver. If I lift the liver, you find a sac beneath it, that will be gallbladder, okay? And then you see a crescent shape, that's stomach. And in between stomach and small intestine, you will see pancreas. And if I lift the stomach, you will see spleen. 
and then right attached to the backbone right there it's kind of darker red that would be kidney okay and then you um if he asks you the sac in the genital region then he's asking about urinary bladder let me see if i can flip it up okay so this one this one on the bottom okay so it's like a pouch now it's empty is because now there's no urine in it okay so that would be urinary bladder okay so if he pulled out a sac from the bottom like this one then he's asking about urinary bladder okay and then that's about the front